Hey everyone, John here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys thermal paste application and also the results of bad thermal paste application because I do have some bad thermal paste application going on in this computer. Specifically, I didn't have enough thermal paste because I, I, re I reinstalled like a cooler and a laptop, well, or I reinstalled the fan. That I made a vlog a while back when I went to McDonald's saying that I was going to replace my computer fan or my laptop fan and I had to replace my, I had to take my heat sink off of it to get to the fan and I had to replace that. So I ran out of thermal paste for this computer all right, and I ended up replacing the motherboard on this computer again for the third freaking time. I've just been a cheap ass and haven't been installing, haven't bought a good motherboard. I've learned now that if you're going to get like an 8350 or an 8 core processor you need to spend like 140 plus on a motherboard bare minimum. So anyway, I'm going to show you guys some thermal paste applications since I'm going to be replacing this shit. Anyway, let's look at the temperature I'm getting right now. Let's throw in some 3D rendering to get those case temps extra high. Little disclaimer, I haven't actually tested the stability on this clock, so it may crash on me. I just literally punched this in whenever I booted the computer up, so it may not even run right. 63 degrees. Let's throw in some new thermal paste because I don't want to let it get any hotter than that. That's pretty darn hot. All right, here are the meat and taters of this computer. Uh, we've got a Hyper 212 Evo by Cooler Master sitting on top of an AMD 8350 versus AM3 Plus socket. We've got a all that sitting on a motherboard, obviously. It's uh, M5A99FX Pro Revision to whatever. It's a mouthful. I'll say that much. That's what she said. Uh, we got all that. We got some RAM right there. It's just slow as fuck. It's uh, 8 gigabytes, 1333 RAM, so it's really shitty. Have to overclock that stuff. Then we've got Power Color Systems, uh, HD, Radeon, 7870. I don't know what the hell you call it. Anyway, it's a 7870. Radeon, Radeon HD 7870, that's it. And it doesn't overclock very well. It's got one fan on it. Runs at stock clocks fine at just under one gear hurt, but whatever. I don't need to overclock it. I'm doing video editing. I've got a Western Digital Blue one terabyte hard drive. No particular reason I chose that other than the fact it was just the cheapest thing I could find that wasn't a, a knockoff brand. Got an old hard drive out of an old computer. It's about eight years old. I use it for a scratch copy. Thing clicks and hums and buzzes and everything else. It's a real piece of shit. I've got an EVGA Supernova. Uh, you can read this shit. I've got this thing right here. This power supply. And it's a, it's a good power supply. It actually is pretty good. It's the only thing good in this system besides the processor itself. Everything else in here, all this is just pure shit. Let's go ahead and replace that thermal paste now. All right, now I'm going to be showing you how to remove the Hyper 212 Evo since I have it on here. Now, if you have a Hyper 212 Evo installed, then you probably already know how to remove it considering you installed the damn thing. But I'm going to go through it anyway. So we're going to pop off this fan. Pop. And pop. By the way, it's not making that popping sound. I'm animating that. I'm creating that sound with my mouth in case you couldn't tell. We're going to just loosen these screws. There's four screws on each side. I'm just going to twist that shit and twist it and twist it. Look at that piss poor application there. Actually, that's not as bad as I thought it would be. It actually turned out actually quite good, actually. The thermal paste we're going to be using is Arctic Silver number five. And uh, I'm holding that upside down because I'm a dumbass. Let's go ahead and apply a little smaller than pea size now. Where this, where this processor is being lapped, I'm not going to be applying a lot to it. Because actually, I had a pretty good spread on that last one. Uh, and only had like a half pea sized amount because the heat spreader and everything is so flat that it doesn't take much. It spreads out very thin. Hopefully I can control how much comes out here. And we'll go ahead and make sure we have enough to get adequate squeeze out. Alright, let's set this thing on here nice and gentle lock. Center her up. What am I hitting? Am I hitting something? I hope you didn't come here to see someone that knows what they're doing. Let's take this. Mamma jamma. Put her on there. Set her on top of her RAM. And whoop bam. Well, didn't, didn't snap, did it? Damn it. Pop on there, you son of a Alright, we got her installed, so let's try her out. Alright, guys, the moment of truth. All right, we're holding 57 degrees Celsius, and uh, I actually have to restart hardware monitor so my tops and my bottoms aren't showing up there. We've dropped actually uh, at least 6 degrees Celsius by swapping out the thermal paste with a better paste. And actually, when I showed it to you when it was 63 degrees, as soon as I shut the computer off, it, uh, it hit 
64 so the temperature was still rising on it so it's actually made at least a six degree difference uh, in cooling performance because this has actually been running longer than the last one anyway i hope you found this video entertaining or useful one of the two at least and uh, i'm going to go ahead and see if i can overclock this thing just a little smidge it more maybe see if i can squeeze one tenth of a megahertz extra out i would take it to 4.6 gigahertz but anyway i want to go ahead and try that out and uh, i'll see you guys later not that I signed a non-disclosure agreement or anything, but just... Ah, so rough. Oh my god, it's starting to snow. Freaking hate. Oh shit, what the f did I just break?